home team for this fixture. Let's see how they will line up. Alanta Barrett will be in goal. They'll have a back for uh, Moses James, Ronaldo Cox, Ian Nedrick and Dante White. Uh, Devon Stewart and O'Neill Irving will be in the middle of the park. Uh, Montague, that's Rowan Montague on the left. Campbell on the right and what? Jordan it's Gale behind the striker, Blue, Aiden James. Yeah, they were playing with a 4-3-3 and Chovy. Go for their captain in the middle of the park, the number eight, Devon Stewart. And Nathan Campbell from the right wing there, number 17 with a goal and assist so far this season. But yeah, they've really struggled to find the back of the net and Chovy. But as you said, this has been a fixture they've dominated over the years. Can they ring the same tune? Jaquan Kenton will be the custodian for Irwin. He wears the number 40. They also have a back four of Ajay Walters, Lejay Dorman, CJ Johnson, the captain, and Nicholas Fletcher in the middle of the park. Kenoy Morant, Ronaldo Hilton, O'Neill White, and Fabian Gray, who has a couple of goals to his name. And Nicholas Samuels will play behind the striker, Leo Campbell, their number 10 with four goals. And Norman Foster, their coach, they'll be playing with a 4 2 3 1 Irwin. As I said, some 13 goal. Well, it was one way traffic throughout the 90 minutes. Irwin in their purple coming forward, and their first goal will come after just nine minutes. Fabian Gray with his third of the season, and Leo Campbell with his first contribution and assist. The Irwin number 10 and standout player. And Anchovy up against it, conceding five in the first leg. Anchovy lost by five goals to nil. And this was their best chance of the first half coming in towards the near post. And goalkeeper Kenton doing enough. But yeah, it was all Irwin working their way into the box. This was a strike to the near post by Gray yet again, looking for a second. Well saved on this occasion by Barrett. You'd have a busy afternoon. The anchovy custodian getting the job done there. And Irwin continuing to come forward. Ajay Walters with it into Nicholas Samuels. And he was just unable to find the score sheet today. This a lovely finish by Leo Campbell. First the delivery by CJ Johnson for his first assist of the season. And yeah, a powerful header by Leo Campbell. Such a standout player there, number 10. And 2 0 after 42. We'd move to the second half. That's how we'd go to the break at 2-0. Now second half action and Campbell with his second after 57 minutes. Nice ball by Morant cross field. Found Fabian Gray who's this time provider. A nice cushion touch with the right foot by Campbell. And a firm finish for his second. That was his sixth of the season. Continuing to come forward, Campbell with the hat-trick after 74. And just love how he took that with the outside of his left boot to take it in stride and then the finish with the right foot. And that was three for him and seven on the season. After 72. And Trophy, they would get a consolation. Looking better in the second half. Irving driving forward. That should have been saved by Kenton poor goalkeeping nevertheless something to cheer about for Anchovy their first goal against Irwin this season and yeah his first for the season as well Irving that came after 76 minutes and the icing on the cake for Leo Campbell driving forward lovely pass there into Irwin and again the movement was perfect for their number 10 this time the touch with the right foot to open up the body and the instep finish with the left. A complete four. Left, two rights ahead and an assist as well. Should have probably had a second assist when he earned this penalty after showing great skill on the right hand side. He was brought down. The substitute Jordan Forbes to take the penalty. But he could not convert too much down the middle Barrett did well much to the glee of his teammates and 5-1 after 90 all three points for Irwin they confirm their position at top of zone A 5-1 over Anchovy 20 shots on 12 on target for Irwin 
two on target from four attempts for Anchovy. They had a better second half. 15 fouls between the two and three yellow cards shown by referee Coombs. Eight corners for Irwin. They really had a dominant display in the attacking side of things. Majority of the possession with 60%. And 5-1 they win. A thumping victory. They go to 21 points in first position. And let's hear for Digicel, man of the match. None other than Leo Campbell with his four goals and one assist. Thanks a lot, Chris. I'm here with the man of the match, Leo Campbell. Leo, congratulations. That is your trophy. You can go and, and hang that up anywhere you want to. Uh, let me ask you, of the four goals that you scored, which one was your favorite? The last one. Yeah, why was it different? Because I, yeah, I practice a lot with the left foot, so yeah, I execute well. Yeah, so let me ask you though, you came into the season wanting to score goals, of course. Do you have in mind what number you would like to end on by the end of the season? Ten, but unfortunately I don't think I, I, will, I will get there. Why you don't think so? Because luck finishing. Well, you're, you're, you're almost halfway there. I'll just see you all the season go. All right. Well, congratulations to you today, and congratulations on winning. Yeah. So that was uh, Leo. Uh, Leo was there, man of the match. We're waiting to have a chat now with the coach uh, from Anchovy High, Clevis.